after the elections were over, you know, these parties, they came together overnight, you know, gobbled up uh, some kind of arrangement which they called coalition. Uh, even the programs and policies were not properly discussed and prepared. Therefore, we see so many uh, internal contradictions, even every minister saying something uh, not completely in consonance with the policies. The fragile nature of the coalition was further heightened by the fact that this government was beholden to the Congress party which supported it from the outside. In fact, when the Devigada government had to resign after the Congress party withdrew support, there were experts who said that this was proof of the brittle quality of this kind of politics. Mr. Devigada's coalition was running fine. I mean, it was as good or as bad as any other coalition. The Congress was supporting it from outside. It is the Congress of prerogative when it wants to withdraw support. That does not necessarily reflect upon the coalition. I think the coalition government was, as I say, as good or as bad. The Congress, which is the main supporting party, obviously would have its own political compulsions. Now, if you have a verdict like what you have in the present Lok Sabha, what do you expect? Ultimately, the people are to blame, be blamed for this instability much more than the politicians. Well, if you give a, give a verdict which does not allow any party to really have an effective say, two out of three will come together. So you, two out of three came together. There was the United Front, there was Congress. I mean, you had to have this alliance or one of them had to split. But it, uh, so you can't really predict what would happen and there would be inherent instability if you have a verdict like you, like you had. Critics of such arrangements also cite instances when the coalition was unable to take vital decisions because of the pulls and pressures exerted by the various constituents. I will tell you that you will party in our party. In that way, the people of the country, the people of the country, the people of the country, the people of the imbalances, the people of the country, the people of the party, तो राजनीतिक इंबैलेंस है जो है वो सब हमारी पार्टी के भीतर भी काम करते रहते हैं बीमारी है वो पार्टी के एक पार्टी के भीतर काम करती है तो साझा सरकार के भीतर काम कैसे नहीं करेगी द डिबेट वंस अगेन सेंटर्ड ऑन द वायबिलिटी ऑफ कोलिशन पॉलिटिक्स proponents of this form of government argue that the fractured nature of Indian polity mandates the fact that the days of one party rule are over and that coalitions are now here to stay. देश की लोकशाही और लोकतंत्र है इसमें 67 से साझा और एक पार्टी के राज का काम चला हुआ है तीन बार हिंदुस्तान में साझा सरकार बनी आगे भी कुछ दिन के लिए कोई ऑप्शन नहीं है हमारा लोकतंत्र उसका जो आईन है उसका जो विधान है उसके अनुसार साझा सरकारों का और आगे युग भी चलेगा चाहे वो कोई राग अलापे कोई हो लेकिन जो स्थिति मैं बता रहा हूं वो कंटिन्यू करेगी टू मी व्हाट मैटर्स मोस्ट इज इज द क्वालिटी ऑफ मैन हु आर कमिंग ऑन द फ्रंट टू रन द गवर्नमेंट वेदर इट्स इन अ सिंगल पार्टी और वेदर इट्स इन अ कोलिशन सो इफ दे आर लिटिल फार साइटेड मैन दे कैन लुक अड दे कैन कीप national interest or the interest of the people ahead of their personal ambitions the ruling party can ruling one party idea can function or the coalition idea can also function those who support the thesis that coalitions best serve and strengthen the federal nature of indian statehood also believe that such coalitions should be formed before the elections and that these coalitions should fight the elections as one entity in order to give this combination any credibility. First of all, coalition is only pre-election combination. Coalition is never after election combination. In coalition, you have to go to the electorate and tell them that these parties are contesting together, they are in alliance and if they gain majority, they will form the government together. This is seen as the primary reason why in states like West Bengal, Kerala and Maharashtra, the coalition governments have lasted out their full terms. Another prerequisite of coalition is at least some similarity in the basic ideology. West Bengal is a block of left ideology, though they are different partners. And second thing, one party has a very major share. 
their CPM is the largest party and then these small blocks but the basic ideology is left. So always an element of stability is much more in such a coalition where the basic ideology is similar. However, opponents of the coalition politics are quick to list out fundamental problems of this kind of an arrangement at the centre. They contest that regional parties which have little in common with other combinations can actually overcome the parochial nature of their politics to give the government in the centre a national perspective. Unless political parties have national perspectives, they cannot address the national issues. Their visions will be blurred by their regional perceptions. There, there will be too much sectarian in their approach. But there may be political parties which have national vision, but physically their activities may be confined to one or two states. And I will say that those parties are national parties in vision, but regional parties in operation. But the political parties which are vision-wise and operation-wise restricted to only a few pockets can never address the national issues. Jo Kshetriya Sari Kshaya hai, wo un kshaya ka matlab ye matlab kaana chahiye, yane hona chahiye, rast or regional, yane jo subai haq hai, arthik or samajik, और राष्ट्रीय हित हैं राष्ट्र यानि राजनीतिक और आर्थिक इन दोनों के बीच में एक संतुलन होना चाहिए। The argument put forward by those supporting a strong centre ruled by one party is that coalition governments are synonymous with compromises and that given the nature of various regional movements all over the country, a central government which is not focused or which does not command authority can easily give in to unjust demands which can have serious security repercussions. There are all sorts of pressures and counter pressures within the coalition because they are representing diverse interests. B, because they are inherently feeling insecure and therefore there is a temptation to play to the gallery and not to do always what is in the national interest because what is in the national interest may be unpopular in the short term and you may not have the political stability to be able to ride out or to have the confidence of riding out that short term unpopularity and you wouldn't like to risk your government. These critics also claim that a coalition government which does not have a robust core is seen as one speaking in many voices and that this itself erodes the authority of the government. They evoke the various contradictory policy statements by the different constituents of the United Front, especially in economic policy matters and even in such crucial issues as the constitutional amendment bill for reservation of legislative seats for women. This is the problem with the coalition government in India. I, they are against something, but they are not in favor of something. And unless they have a positive approach and their unity is based on positive programs, again and again this type of experiments will fail. In our beach, we have a lot of different ways, a lot of different ways, a lot of different parties, a lot of different ways. मैं अपनी पार्टी की बात को दिनभर कहता हूँ, दिनभर उन बातों पर अपनी पार्टी को बनाने का काम करता हूँ, उसी तरह मेरे साथ के लोग करते हैं, तो वो हमारी आदत हमारे संस्कार में जाता है, तो वो कोई चीज़ भी कोई पॉलिसी भी हम अपनी पार्टी के नजरिए से उसको तोलना शुरू करते हैं, इसलिए डिफरेंस दिखेंगे, वो they claim that a coalition that does not have a majority of its own and which depends for its survival on parties from the outside by definition is vulnerable. That this alleged brittle quality is brought about by the nature of its minority status and that this shortcoming is not of coalition politics per se.